On a significant day for renewable energy in Africa, the Minister of State at the Ministry of Energy, Herbert Krapa, inaugurated the continent's largest rooftop photovoltaic solar plant. Nestled in the Tema Free Zones enclave, this remarkable installation boasts a capacity of 16.8 megawatts, representing a giant leap forward in Ghana's renewable energy ambitions. The event, marked by Mr. Ras, Krapa's inspection of the panels atop a three-story building and the symbolic activation of the $17 million project underscored the government's commitment to expanding the role of renewables in the national energy mix. Helios Solar Energy, a subsidiary of LMI Holdings, masterminded this project, securing funding from the International Finance Corporation, IFC, of the IMF Group. Spanning an impressive 100,000 square meters, the project showcases the expertise of Ghanaian engineers and technicians who meticulously handled the construction, connection, and installation. This not only highlights local capability, but also represents a significant stride towards energy self-sufficiency and sustainability. At this juncture, I'd like to take a moment to remind viewers who haven't subscribed to our channel yet to hit that subscribe button. Your support is crucial as we strive to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of the month. By subscribing, you ensure that you won't miss out on any future updates and detailed analyses like this one. Minister Krapa's presence at the commissioning emphasized the government's supportive role in creating an enabling environment for private sector investment in renewable energy. His remarks lauded the project as a testament to the private sector's potential to drive growth development, and sustainability. He stressed the importance of such initiatives in reducing CO2 emissions and enhancing electricity supply, thereby aligning with national and international environmental goals. The minister articulated a vision where private sector investment plays a crucial role in achieving a target of 10% renewable energy in Ghana's energy mix by 2030. He expressed confidence that this project would inspire other private sector players globally to partner with the government in realizing this ambitious target. This collaboration is seen as vital for securing the significant funding required for such large-scale projects, far beyond what the government alone can provide. The socioeconomic impact of the project was another focal point of Mr. Krapa's speech. He highlighted the creation of greener, sustainable jobs and the introduction of advanced skills and technology to young Ghanaian engineers as key benefits. This project, he noted, contributes substantially to Ghana's nationally determined contributions under the Paris Agreement, showcasing the country's commitment to global environmental standards. Furthermore, the project is expected to have a profound impact on the local economy, by reducing the cost of power for industries, it positions the manufacturing sector to be more competitive, both locally and internationally. Solar energy over time leads to lower energy costs, which is crucial for the growth and competitiveness of the industrial sector. This in turn supports uh, the broader economic development of the country, enhancing the standard of living for its people. Mr. Krapa emphasized the alignment of this project with the government's broader vision for the power sector. He reiterated the ethical responsibility of the government to protect the planet, citing the National Energy Transition Framework. This framework, developed with input from all 16 regions of Ghana, outlines a pathway to achieving net zero emissions by 2060. The framework has been transformed into an investment plan, which was launched by the president during the UN General Assembly last year. Significant projects, like the rooftop solar plant, are critical to realizing this investment plan. These projects not only provide immediate benefits, but also serve as beacons for future private sector participation in renewable energy. They demonstrate the viability and potential returns of investing in renewable energy infrastructure, thereby encouraging further investment. Krapa also highlighted the role of such projects in helping industries meet their green credentials. By providing cleaner and more affordable energy, the solar plant enables industries to reduce their carbon footprint and align with global sustainability standards. This is particularly important as consumers and partners increasingly demand environmentally responsible practices from businesses. In conclusion, the commissioning of Africa's largest rooftop photovoltaic solar plant is a landmark achievement for Ghana. 
It represents a successful collaboration between the government and the private sector, showcasing the potential for renewable energy to drive economic growth, job creation, and environmental sustainability. Uh, the project sets a precedent for future investments in renewable energy, paving the way for a greener and more prosperous future for Ghana and, and the continent at large. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to the channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.